Hey, I'm the Tube Dude. I'm the Frog Man. Together, we represent BassBait.net as part of the Bass Baiter Army. Listen, guys, the reason we're here today, you know, we love looking at fishing, hunting, outdoor videos on YouTube. Only problem we've run into, we've looked up stuff around our area, Eastern Massachusetts, not a whole lot of footage. We want you guys to come take a trip with us. We'll show you the great outdoors, Massachusetts, a little bit of fishing, hunting, everything in between. Hope you stick with us. I'm sure you'll like it. So stay tuned, guys. Obviously, it's the holiday season, uh, Christmas time. Kwanzaa and Hanukkah. Everyone's out there um, doing their holiday shopping. A lot of different gifts that people are looking to buy. We don't have millions of dollars to spend on fishing gear, hunting gear. Um, so stay tuned. We're going to give you pretty much our top six items that we would recommend um, on a budget that you can get for someone outdoors, fisherman, hunter, etc. Um, especially if it's crunch time where you're picking up gifts now. So stay tuned for that. Don't get the pagan holidays too. Hey guys, welcome to the first annual Bass Baits Christmas Special. We're going to go over a couple pieces of gear we think make a great gift for the hunter or fisher in your life. Why don't you take it away, uh, Brock, man? Sounds good. So I'm going to start off with a spinning reel. Now, obviously there's many spinning reels out on the market that you can get. However, uh, this Akuma Stratus, I think it's available only at Dick's Sporting Goods, if I remember correctly. Um, it is a, a cheaper reel, I will give it that. Uh, various different sizes based on line capacity, you know, what kind of line you want to throw. However, you can get these anywhere between $29.99 all the way up to maybe $40 bucks, uh, at Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, we are not affiliated with any of these companies or any of these um, stores or brands or anything. It's just stuff that I've used over the years in the past and had success with it and it's been durable at least for me. Um, so with this spinning reel itself, I believe it's seven ball bearings. Um, again, good quality for, for what you get. You know, to, to get a $29.99 uh, you know, spinning reel and have it for a long time and have it last is something that I think um, you know, is is kind of out there on the market, but at the very least, this is the one that, that I would recommend. Uh, if you are planning on getting a spinning reel on the budget, there's plenty more out there. There's more that you know are out there that are more expensive and, and things that you can get along those lines. But if you're looking for something on a budget that's really gonna last for someone, um, this is what I recommend. The Baitcaster version of this, I would not recommend. Uh, it does not have good reviews. I've tried it myself. It's, it's really not smooth. It's not, not durable. However, if you want a nice spinning reel for you know, any loved one or friend, uh, this is what I would recommend if, if you are on a budget. Um, it, it's pretty good. What do you got? Well, to start off my namesake here, one of my <laughs> favorite things to fish with, and uh, almost what I use exclusively up until recently, the tube. Hence your name. Hence my name, tube dude. So bring this close to the camera for you guys. See, it's like this frilly little uh, you know, hollow tube. I got a weighted hook in there right now. Big old fat weight at the front, hook in the back. Uh, guys, really simple thing to fish. Uh, simple as just cast it out there. You can do all sorts of things. You can either reel it in kind of quick. Uh, you can let it sink to the bottom, you know, make it dance on the bottom of the water. Uh, really easy, straightforward to use. I don't even know what brand this is. You know, probably 20 different brands out there. Uh, you look at anywhere, you know, seven to like $15. Can't go wrong. Any fish are worth the salt will appreciate it. For sure, for sure. I think it gives a good reaction bite as well. So it gives that reaction bite. Um, the fish can't stand it. They just want to go for it. Um, Brand-wise, I agree with you as well. You can Anything out there. get the Anything. top brand all the way down to um, the cheapest that you find uh, out, out there. But it's something that if you do have a fisherman that you're getting a gift for, you know, you they're going to appreciate them. it. You always need them. They're going to appreciate it. Um, the next thing for me would probably be you know fishing line. Um, again, the items that I have... I have because of what I've used in the past, what's been successful for me, but also what is good quality. So if you have something that um, you can get cheaper that's still good quality, why wouldn't you do it whether you're on a budget or not? Um, when it comes to line, just look out for the sales. I mean, I, I really don't, you know, I, I don't break it down to a certain brand or, um, you know, a certain style, so to speak. It's really just going to defend. You know, defend depend on your fishing. So for example, if you're gonna fish topwater frogs, um, you know, you're, you're probably looking at some braid because you wanna get those fish out of you know, deep weeds or cover or lily pads. Um, if you're fishing you know, other baits or things where you're gonna need um, less cover to, to kind of be a problem for you, you, know, you can go with your monofilament, um, you know, your fluorocarbon. 
but definitely line it's just because every every fisherman needs it you know they're going to need it regardless and you can often get it on sale uh, at various locations cool so my second favorite bait right here a little two-parter we got our power grub we got our jig head guys if you do any sort of crappy fishing this right here slays them absolutely slays them really easy to uh present basically just cast a sucker right out uh reel it in either slow uh medium fast really quick depending on what size grub what size jig head uh i found this size right here works for just about everything we find here in the uh, new england area am i gonna land you know you know a 20 pound fish on this probably not but uh you know get a good you know four or five pounder if it's a really good day but uh you gets know fish in the boat. yeah it gets fish in the boat anything from big to small and uh again same price bracket as this uh you know under 20 bucks get you a whole bag of them and uh all sorts of different colors and stuff but that's the uh, bass bait or uh, army horn nice so uh yeah i mean between these two things you could fish all day in massachusetts and catch a you know whole lot of fish all different types and uh I'm happy as a clam all right, so my third and last, uh, I got a centipede worm here, but my third and last is actually gonna be the topwater frog. Uh, I'm very biased when it comes to the topwater frog because it's my primary way of fishing. Um, so they're pretty much your regular hollow body frogs. Um, and then they have the two hooks in the back where once the, the bass takes the, the actual frog itself, uh, they, they normally hook themselves when they try to turn around and get back in the cover. Um, Check out BassBait.net. Uh, that's my first blog post is talking about topwater frogs. I know it's the winter now for all of us pretty much, but um, you know, it's something that I'm really passionate about, and you know, I'm just kind of dreaming of the spring summer season to really get back into topwater fishing. So that's what motivated me to get that blog post up there. So definitely check that out. Let me know your thoughts or if you have any other tips and tricks. Um, with these, <clears throat> same thing. You can get these on sale. Um, they're anywhere from four dollars a piece all the way up to I've seen eight nine ten twelve um, Which it, it is a lot of money for one specific lure. However um, Again, if you look out for sales, especially during the holiday season, you can get good deals on these So I think for my three even though it's a very general overview um, The sales that you can get on these readily available is giving you a good opportunity to get something on a budget uh, for you know whoever you need it for in your own life um, again they're durable are you gonna lose them sure um, however if you fish them the right way the right equipment the right braid um, it's less of a chance of that and they're, they're a ton ton of fun to fish by far my favorite way to fish for any type of uh, large mouth small mouth um, so keep frogs in mind again they go on sale often they don't get caught in weeds either we have a whole lot of those around here yes so they don't for the the majority of the time they don't they will is or it will happen if it flips over um, if you got the hooks we if you bend the hooks up a little more to get better hook sets if you you know cast this out and it flips over onto the lily pads you may get it stuck in there and it gets caught in the lilies but if you don't modify the hooks and you just keep them as is uh, and it's landing flat there's really virtually no chance and you know the biggest chance is going to be if the fish takes it and brings it down uh, down to the bottom so but I talk about that in the blog post I'm sure we'll do you know a top water video as well uh, but this is my recommendation because this is, you know, one of the funnest ways to fish. And if you have a fisherman in your life who wants to do that, um, you might as well get them something that they're going to have a lot of fun with. All right, so I'll wrap up my uh, gifts here. i got a little two-parter. So one, huge thing. I know we've talked about, you know, baits, you know, uh, reels, lures, all that stuff all day. Uh, huge thing is, what do you do when your line gets snagged? What do you do when you get a really nice fish in the boat and you want to, you know, cut it up and make a meal? Uh, really anything you think of guys I can't tell you how many times me and the frogman have been out on the boats he's gone you know hey dude can I get your knife hey I need to cut something I need this you know yep. got a nice little uh, you know belt holster for it uh, knife brand this is a Gerber doesn't really matter what brand you use no uh, for years I actually had a cheapo like no name Chinese knife uh, it's actually sharper than this one you know I kept it sharp all that stuff uh, I mean this is only like 30 bucks but it's been lasting pretty well really want to make sure you get a nice folding one you know, stow it away no problems there nice and simple I mean this goes beyond just fishing basically anything you know you need a knife for you know out hunting uh, just keeping your car uh, great little thing to have uh, 
last one actually just got turned on with this year. This is a Gecko Brands bag. I'm sure other companies make them, but uh, these guys I really like. Their bags actually seal at the top. So you have stuff in the bag you need dry. Unless you go swimming with this bag, it stays dry. Uh, I myself do a lot of fishing off of a really small kayak. Kayak's probably got a weight capacity of about 150 pounds. And I'm about 240 pounds worth of dude. So uh, pretty close to waterline. And I know what this keeps all my stuff dry. And uh, it's been great so far. So just again, guys, we want to reiterate. None of these brands that you've seen or anything that we've talked about today, we're not affiliated with these brands, anything like that. This is just tried and true, what we use bait-wise. Um, you know, we'll get into more specifics by all means, but for right now, this is... You know, crunch time, the holidays, you want to get something for uh, a hunter, fisherman, uh, outdoors person. This is what we what we, yeah, what we recommend uh, or what we would recommend to you, um, you know, to pick up, you know, grab it on short money. Again, this reel, uh, I got it for, I think, 29 bucks. Um, I've had them for years. I haven't had an issue with them. Uh, they stay durable. So everything that, we, you know, we're talking about here, there's no affiliation. It's just stuff that we've used over the years that... For us works um, definitely like subscribe leave a comment down below of, of items that are either cheaper or um, maybe more durable for you but a little bit more money uh, we'd love to hear from you uh, leave that you know the comments in the comments section uh, check us out bassbait.net and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys for the next video in the next video it'll probably be more of a fishing um, instruction as well as discussing actual products uh, or equipment that we use in more specific so can't wait to hear from you guys. Check out the website, and uh, thanks for watching. Keep them lines tight. Tight lines.